Hello, my lovely Capricorns. This is to be there with Medium of the Light Tarot. So welcome back, family of light. I'm really glad that you're here. So today is going to be the mid-month July reading for 2020 for Capricorns in Love. So let's see, we've got the Four of Swords in reverse. The Two of Cups. The High Priestess. The Five of Cups. The Nine of Swords. The Nine of Wands reversed. There's the King of Wands. the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Let's push this up here so you can see them. Generally, this is you, this is the story, oh, sorry, this is you, this is your person, and this is your, the storyline here. So let me tune into the energies. With this Five of Swords, and this is the uh, Mermaid deck, You've definitely been cut by this relationship. You're feeling like, okay, it's done on the one hand. And then on the other hand, you've got the two of cups here. And it's interesting because we've got the two of cups. And then down here in the storyline is the mermaid going back in the water after they've been together. So you definitely want this love. You're kind of wondering if this person is for you. Because you've got the High Priestess here in reverse. So it's like you're trying to manifest it. And then what it, whatever happened, whatever cut you, you went silent. And this person knows that you're a very powerful person. You know, they're feeling sorrowful about this too. They've got the Five of Cups here. Or they feel like all is lost too, but they're not seeing that there's these cups behind them. And then you've got the dark knot of the soul with the nine of swords. You know, and with that mermaid and you know, down here in the waters, it's like they're torturing this person. They feel tortured by what happened with you. So with this Knight of Wands, it's like they just, they tried to go to work, they tried to, you know, carry on, and it's in the reverse. So they're, they're just, they're, this, your person is miserable. With this King of Wands here, they're, especially being in the reverse. It's like they're trying to carry on, but they're not doing a very good job of it. You know, and with this, you might have walked away from them. You might have had to walk away from them. Too many differences. But you still want it. You still want the love. And here's this fiery, passionate Ace of Wands, but it's in the reverse. You know, so it's this blocked, fiery energy. Let's get some clarifying cards out here. The Five of Swords. So you've got the Three of Cups in reverse. You might have been cut by them having a third party or showing interest in someone else. 
with this two of cups here comes the eight of wands it's like you're still chasing after this fiery passion you want to you know with this high priestess here you've got the five of cups where you're just like all is lost this person you know wasn't what i thought they were you know, this person is so sorrowful about it. They're so, there's so much grieving that they're going through in this dark night of the soul. Like, how could I do this? How could I have done this? You know, it might not be a third party, but I think for the majority of, it, of you, it is. Or they chose something else. It doesn't have to be a person, like a, a romantic partner. This is the page of pentacles reversed. You know, it's like they've, they want to try to figure out how to come to you in this happy-go-lucky manner, but they're like, it's too late. They really messed this up. The Nine of Swords with reversed justice. So they want justice, but they don't know how to get it. You know, with this Nine of, this, um, nine of Swords where it's the, the dark night of the soul... They really do want justice with you, but they just, they don't know how to get it. They're like, should I send them a message? But they don't. I think you might have, you know, and flip the storyline as it reads, you know, but somebody betrayed somebody else and the other one cut them off. It says the lovers in reverse with this, you know, so they went to work, they're trying to pretend like everything's okay, but they're still looking towards you. Nine of Wands. Got some, you know, page energy here, page energy here. You know, this young, immature energy. They want to offer you their cup of love, but it's in the reverse, so they can't come through. Here's the Sun card. This is in reverse. So whatever this has been has been very traumatic for both of you. They just feel so much guilt and shame. You know, and you're on the defensive. They're on the defensive. do some deeper meaning here. What was this about? What happened here? Fortune. Like somebody was really, like look at the picture here. Someone was really loose with their money or something else. They just put a blind eye to it and didn't want to see what they were doing. Interesting because there's all this money falling out of this fortune card and here's a gift. They might come forth with you for with a gift saying, I'm so sorry. Can we try to work this out? Let's see. And I heard, and this is kind of like your thought about it or theirs, depending on whose storyline this is, Capricorn, that what I heard someone say was once a cheater, always a cheater. You can go ahead and give gifts, but it's not going to make me trust you. Maybe they cheated, you know, like cheated. The third party was money. That they used your money, that they took your money. You know, that's another possibility. They said it doesn't have to be a person with this three of swords here. They're, now they're just trying to be so flexible. They're trying to like, oh, they're bending over backwards, trying to figure out how to fix this. But the drama's already there. The drama's already been incurred. And you're just trying to stay in control of you. Trying to go within and get some meditation. Some clarity. Let's get... Actually, I'm going to use another deck here. If I can find it. All right. What other information can we give here?
It says mission. It's like they're on a mission to try to figure this out, but I kind of feel like for you it might be too late. Yeah, they're, you know, their sacral chakra got in the way. Narcissist energy, yeah, like they're showing all this narcissist energy where, you know, because they did what they did with no regard to you and now that shit's gone down, they're like, oh, 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 but they're being silent so you don't know it. But they're just like, in their mind, they're like, oh my God, I totally messed up Union. I totally messed this up. Because they're just like, they're thoughtless with this narcissistic energy. And I think that, you know, you're, you were codependent. So you were thinking, they were thinking, oh, I got this in the bag. No big deal. I'll just do, you know, do this money deal or, you know, do this other third party and with no regard to you. And they were wrong. And they just keep saying your name. I see them crying about this. I see them lamenting about it. The Libra card came out. Maybe there's a Libra involved. I think this is helping you to open up your other chakras. As far as like divine guidance, like obviously you're here trying to gain some clarity. So let's get some more cards here. What does my Capricorns need to know? There's a lot of fear here. Like your person is like, oh my God, I messed up. You know, and if for some of you, this is about money that was taken from you or joint account money that was taken from you, you know, the, the fear is understandable. You know, there's a need to balance the scales. And by you walking away and cutting them off, it needed to happen. I mean, this person is clearly a narcissist. You know, they were thinking about themselves, their needs, and not yours. They want to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. It says, Hon honestly discuss your feelings with each other. And like I said, I think at this point it might be, depending on the situation, at least at this moment of the reading, it might be just a little too late. Let's get a little more. Stability, security, permanence, growth. And that's what you wanted with this person. They might be dealing with some kind of addiction. This is the second time codependencies come out. Controlling, possessive. It's like they really thought they were going to get away with this. Like it was no big to do. And it caused this separation. Capricorns, I hope that was helpful for the ones that this resonated with. Please leave me a like, share, and subscribe. Please leave me a comment about how this resonated with you and, you know, how the story rolls out for you. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope that the rest of July 2020 is good to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.